Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're doing another Popper Cube Draft. Peasant Cube Draft. But before that, we are continuing the Michael B. fanfic submitted by Kerwit. The second Kerwit uh, fanfic that has been submitted. When last we met, left, when last, when last we left, um... It was at this point, while the other guests were preoccupied with his newly created dish that Mike leaned over to ask Frank a favor, the Lady Bortina has requested that I visit her tomorrow at her estate. I must admit I'm a little frightened by the prospect, even though I'm quite eager. I wonder if you would be so kind as to attend with me. And then I said, my good Moochel. I mean, not me, but the, you know, the story. The guy in the story. Probably not me. <laughs> what is there to be afraid of? The Lady Bortina is a tiny woman. <laughs> like she is... Fighter? And then Michael says, she is an adventurous woman at this frank burst out in laughter very well i shall attend with you but only because i must see this for myself chapter four the estate frank and michael arrived michael that's a typo uh oh wait no i guess your name is michael but your nickname is mutual right michael's attention yeah okay it's been okay okay i wasn't sure if this was like the office where where uh Michael forgets to fix the one dwigged in uh, in Threat Level Midnight. Frank and Michael arrived at the Lady Bortina's estate at the time requested, which had been relayed to Michael by Lady Bortina Page. Bortina pa Bortina's Bortina's Page. I think that might be a a grammatical uh, issue. They were greeted by her butler and footmen. The butler informed footmen. them that Lady Bortina was waiting in the garden and promptly escorted them. Lady Bortina was sitting with another woman, the aforementioned Lady Catherine. <laughs> oh, man. As Michael and Frank got close to them, the ladies turned to look at them, smiling, but said nothing. Frank nudged Michael and said, Introduce us, Moochel. Lady Bortina clearly heard this, and her smile widened. Moochel, she spoke quietly to her son. Moochel, pleased at this new piece of information. Shall I also call you Moochel? I quite like it. She asked Michael. At, the, at this, he sputtered a little, being made somewhat bashful at this new level of intimacy. Duke Lepore, it is a pleasure to have you here. I had heard that you and Moochel were quite close, and I had wondered if he would bring you. I am honored to visit such a grand house. I have brought along a guest who would love to meet you. She gestured to Lady Catherine, who was still sitting on the bench, who promptly stood up and curtsied. This is Lady Catherine. Frank was visibly taken. <laughs> <laughs> lady Catherine, and just stared at her without saying anything. This, in turn, made the Lady Catherine blush. Um, Lady Bortina, um, <clears throat> Lady Bortina cleared her throat, and Catherine jumped into action. Thank you. Rum Titan, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Took the rad train from YouTube to drop this sub. Is a sub. Is a sub. Hope <laughs> this tickles your biscuits. It definitely does. Your Grace, there is a wonderful tree overshadowing a pool full of the most wonderful fish that I simply must show you. I bet those fish are wonderful. <laughs> At this, she whisked a very com compliant Frank away, leaving Michael and Bortina alone. It was at this moment that Michael realized that Lady Catherine was simply a decoy to remove Frank from this situation. Michael's simple one-step plan had been ruined. Come, sit with That's me on the... That's par for the curse for Michael. <laughs> one-step plan. Sit with me on the bench, Mr. Moochel. Michael did as he was told. Do as you're told, Michael. <laughs> The Lady Bortina sat next to him and then scooted in very close, so that she was pressed up against him. Michael has o had always thought that, Vic that Victorian women were prudish and reserved, but clearly that was not always the case. Remember, Michael's from the future. Tell me, what does Moochel mean? It's just a name the Duke calls me because I frequently stay at his estate. <laughs> As if you were some kind of mooch? She seemed amu amused by this. Well, Mr. Mooch, you are welcome to mooch off of me anytime you desire. Wow, this is... Getting hot and heavy. <sighs> With this, she reached down and pinched Michael's butt. <laughs> Good lord. Causing him to yelp, a reaction that clearly pleased her as a wide smile appeared on her face. Michael, unsure how to respond, sat very still and upright. That's super awkward. Bortina laid her head on his shoulder and gazed off into the distance. After a little time, she started to speak. Michael, I've watched you for some time. Creep creepy. Creepy. <laughs> and I'm not quite sure what to make of you. You seem to fit in very well with regard to my with with the reg with all the regulars of my parlor, and from what I have heard, the Duke's parlor as well. However, you do not display the same boorish traits that I see in all of them. Surely you cannot mean the Duke also, Michael said. I have not had much opportunity to observe him, so I cannot say. Tell me, what makes you different? Would you believe that I come from the future? Michael asked with a jovial laugh. 
She stared into his eyes for a moment, like you do when someone tells you they come from the future. If such fantasies were possible, I suppose someone like you would be the main character. It was at this moment that the Duke and Ooh, Lady so Catherine... Meta. Thank you. Because <laughs> you are the main right, character. Yeah, yeah. Stupid Jawa. Thank you so much for the resub. 64 months, dude. Dang. You are awesome, man. I appreciate I you, you founder's out. badge. It was at this moment that the Duke and Lady Catherine returned, clearly enthralled by each other's company. Shall we head in for the noonday meal, Lady Bortina? The Duke asked the host, not seeming to pay any attention to the close quarters Lady Bortina and Michael now occupied. Yes, that sounds delightful. They stood up <laughs> and went to the, to the manor. Next chapter, five. The parlor. Sometime later in the evening, after Frank and Michael had returned to the Duke's manor, Michael sat down at the parlor contemplating. It was true that he enjoyed the company of Lady Bortina. However, how could such a thing work? Surely she would discover that he was not from this time. Would he have to give up ever returning to the time he was from? What would she think when she discovered he had no worldly possessions? At this moment, Frank appeared at the door, also in a contemplative mood. What could I possibly have to offer someone like Lady Catherine? I'm a simple duke, with wealth, land, and rugged good looks. There's no hope for me. <laughs> Frank bemoaned. <laughs> oh, Lord. Are you crazy? That's exactly what women want, Michael responded incredulously. Then why do most of them live in squalor or with ugly, ugly men? Simple. They must take what they can get. Have you not noticed that they do not seem to be given much choice? I suppose you may be right. He trailed off into thought for a moment before realizing he was still in a conversation with Michael. How was your day? At this, he developed a large grin on his face. Michael blushed a little, but did not know how to respond. Frank continued his thought. The two of you seem to go together smashingly. Perhaps it won't be long before you are Mr. Lady Bortina. Who will fill my guest room then? I should have the Lady Bortina start visiting more frequently before that happens, so that she'll be accustomed to it after you are wed. Michael was even less sure how to respond to his future wedding being planned. I think we are a long way from any weddings, Michael finally responded. Whatever do you mean? Sometimes I wonder if you're even human. Why, I'm surprised it has taken this long. If you were not so shy, the good Lady Bortina would be with child already. This caused Michael to blush profusely and look away, and elicited a loud laugh from the Duke. <laughs> Come now, tomorrow you will go by her sitting room, and you shall formally ask her to be your wife. Wow, this is moving very quickly. I will attend with you. <laughs> I'll come with you and ask her to be your wife. Fucking at ask her. Do it. At this, Frank turned to the footman sitting, standing at the door. You there, make an appointment for Mr. Barbablyboo and myself at the Lady Bortina's Manor tomorrow. The footman bowed and left the room. Michael was unable to speak. Get some sleep. I shall see you in the morning. The Woods. This is like C plus erotic, but you could actually sell it. <laughs> The woods were dark, but there were enough. There was enough moonlight in the clearing to see the place where Michael kept the car he used to travel through time. Michael had been up late worrying about the coming events of tomorrow. He did want to marry Lady Bortina, but it seemed impossible. She would find out eventually that he was not from here. What would she think then? He had eventually concluded that it was probably time for him to return to his own time and work in the call center. <laughs> I just gotta go back to my own time. The call center needs me. I feel like anyone with a time machine will probably have a better job than a call center, but that's just... At this moment... It he was an accident, man. I, I didn't... I discovered it. I stumbled yeah. on it. Yeah, right. That's the point. At this moment, he heard a rustling in the trees, and he quickly turned to see Bortina coming out of the dark. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to follow you around. When my footman told me that you and the, that the Duke and you would be formally visiting tomorrow, I knew what it meant. I was worried that he had pressured you into it, and I wanted to make sure that you were okay. I came to see you, but on my way, I saw you slip out of the manor. At this point, she noticed the car. What is that? Oh, no. Michael sighed. There's something we should talk about. I actually, I am from the future. And poor. <laughs> Bortina gasped, and he was not sure if she was gasping because he was from the future or poor. <laughs> what do you mean you're from the future? Well, this device allows me to move from one time to another. I got in it where I come from, the year 2020, and came here. She seemed utterly shocked. What? Is the future like, does everyone treat women as liberally as you? Um, yeah, more or less. It was certainly better than here, but probably not what she was expecting. Also, they found a way to turn vegetables into meat. <laughs> That's a solid reference. Maybe we should just leave this place behind. She seemed serious. 
What about your friends and family? Oh, all my family are gone, and the only true friend I have is Lady Catherine. I shall miss her, but it may be for the best. What? That? Why? <laughs> That's it. I'm going with you. Uh, okay. But I'm poor in the future. We, well, technically I'm poor here too. That's okay. I'm sure they still like gold. We shall take some with us. But first, let me go say bye goodbye to Lady Catherine. She was real. In she was like, yeah, let's just go to the future. Yeah, forget <laughs> it. Oh, man, we're on like the last page now, guys. You want to finish it? Yeah. All right. Some bushes. While Michael and Lady Bortini were walking back to her estate, they heard some rustling in the bushes nearby. Upon investigating further, they discovered the Duke and Lady Catherine becoming better acquainted. Wow. <laughs> well, Lady Bortina exclaimed in an amused loud voice. Frank and Catherine looked up from their frivolities. Good evening, the Duke exclaimed. I suppose we should come out of the bush. The four of them started to, to walk towards Lady Bortina's manor. Catherine, I have some good news, but perhaps you may not take it well. Lady Bortina eventually said, after they had walked for some distance. Oh, has the good Mr. Bobobly proposed marriage? In truth, Lady Bortina had forgotten all about the subject of marriage. And at its mention, she glanced over at Michael, who now had a panicked look on his face. I suppose that... Uh, Lady Bortina, will you marry me? <laughs> this is perhaps one of those awkward marriage proposals that had occurred in, in humanity up until this point. <laughs> <laughs> I will, she said, realizing this was probably the best proposal she would receive from him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the best I'm going to get. Uh, wait, if that was not your news, what was you needed to tell me, Lady Catherine said, looking confused. It's somewhat complicated. But Michael has time-traveled here from the future, <laughs> and we have decided to go live there. All of them stopped walking. I knew there was something different about you, the Duke exclaimed loudly. And you are simply going to leave us behind? Everyone's very, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very, uh, casual about traveling into the fucking future. <laughs> very, very nonchalant oh, about Oh, from it. the future. That oh, I sense. knew oh. it. Oh, I fucking yes. knew it. That's so typical. <laughs> Uh, we simply could not ask you to abandon your lives here, Lady Bortina interjected. Interjected, I think is what you mean. I think Frank and I would like to go with you. We had just been discussing leaving this place anyway, Lady Catherine replied. Do they burn witches in the future, the Duke inquired. No, witches aren't real, Michael replied. <laughs> then we leave tonight. Wow, this is all happening very quickly. <laughs> this is really, I feel like the was like, I don't know how to end this, so we're just going to escalate. Old sick bag. Thank you so much for the reset over the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. No, witches aren't real, Michael replied. Then we leave tonight, Frank declared, and began running off towards his manor. In case if he's just run off. <laughs> See you later. Bring lots of gold, Lady Bortina called after him. Michael is very poor in the future. <laughs> <laughs> and the last short chapter, Back to the Future. They all met at the Duke's mansion. Michael and Bortina had retrieved the DeLorean. They filled all the available cargo space in the DeLorean with gold. Are we ready to go? Lady Bortina asked. They all nodded. Um, where are Lady Catherine and I going to sit? The Duke asked. DeLorean's only being a two-seater. I've been thinking about this. I think I will just tie both of you to the roof. They were easier to tie down than the gold. And so the Duke burned down his house and they all traveled to the future. How did he burn down his house? Where they moved to Denver for some reason. To pass the time... They bought a van and traveled the world solving mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that is the end of the fan fiction too. Oh, that was Kerwick. amazing. I like that we all became, we went from Bill and Ted's excellent, there was like Bill and Ted's excellent adventure, uh, back to the future and Scooby-Doo all rolled into one. Wow. That was Can we take a slight break? Yes. All right. Let's and you don't have to worry about transmission fluid. He always does this. He always fucking... I start the recording again, and he says some random bullshit that doesn't... That no one's going to get from the YouTube video. They're going to be like, what transmission fluid? That's random. And then he does... It doesn't matter. Like, it happens every time. <clears throat> what? <laughs> what? Somehow. All right. I just took a DNA test. What? You gave me a weird look, man. Yeah, you deserved it. For what? For being born. <laughs> wow. Got him. Shots fired. Yeah. 
the nerve of you, you little biscuit. How much transmission fluid is safe to drink, Mike? Well, it's pretty. it tastes pretty sweet, so, you know. Does it? As much as you want. How do you know that? I don't know if it tastes sweet, but I smell sweet. What? Yeah. Do yes. Does it? Mm hmm How do you know that? You smell it? Yeah, I've smelled it before. When did you smell it? When well, you were drinking several it? Several years ago. It was years ago. I was a different man then. I was a transmission fluid drinking man. Dirty transmission fluid tastes awful. I've been there. Oh, Jesus. You guys are very weird. God, you hear that water, man? I do. So Jake and Cass have been, have been watering the, lar the yard with the sprinkler. And it's so loud because you can hear the water like... Tss, there's like a hissing noise in the background. And it's it's like it's actually surprisingly loud. I mean, you guys might even be able to hear it. It does smell sweet, and it's got to be a problem because animals would get into it and they die. Oh wow, that sounds terrible. I think there's even warnings on it, like don't drink this. Can't they just make it not smell that way? I don't know. All right, what's it? What's the pick here, brah? First pick. First pick. I like. I actually like Kior a lot. You want to build around it? Kind of. I think the safest pick Hunter, is Hunter, stop. Is what? Signet. I don't want to be I don't want to be these colors though, so Fair enough. I want to be these colors. Get the page? What does that mean, Josh? What are you saying right now? Oh, the what? No. I mean, we just did Grixis, which is two of those three colors, so. Yes, there was a push to make it smell bad, but I don't think many manufacturers got on board with it. Dang. Well, I just took a DNA test, so <laughs> How do you not know that song? How do Man, you I don't got the radio. No, that song. She played in between around or something, so I can hear it. Oh wait, I guess I guess we'll end up hearing it in Katie's car apparently, so we're good. I just took a do you what did it say? I said I was a hundred percent that bitch. That's a good lyric though. I like that. Yeah, boy. Oh, now you can take Mystic. I like it a lot. Friddle boy. We're looking for four power creatures, though. Let's keep it in mind. Yeah, it's still good enough, though. Give it a counter. Give it a counter. Well, you know what? Put a little bird on it. If I give it a counter, it's not going to trigger Kiora because... All of your lyrics are quite good. Am I going to find a new jam? That'd be exciting. Oh, I like Enlisted Worm here. No, I don't. Damn it. What does this guy do? The four That's five good. with flash and reach when it enters the battlefield, a creature creatures target player controls get plus two. Yeah, it's actually very them? good. That seems bonkers. It's a very solid card. Plus, it meets the requirement. I'll take it. I'll take that great <clears throat> oak guardian. Oh, this is a commander card. That makes sense. Oh, even Wari seems good. There's like it's very scary, few though. legendaries. What? Oh, They're never gonna oh, have yeah, a legendary. It's actually just a five five for four, right? Yeah, that dude's bonkers. Does he have trample? No. Yeah, he does. Oh, he does? You're wrong about everything. God, I don't know anything. <laughs> no. I gotta go, guys. He does? You're like, oh, he's a little scary. Well, I just know he's normally like... trash, so I just put him in the trash category. Yeah, but there's no legendary. He's like, no one's gonna... No, he seems great in this. Yeah, that makes sense. He's, he might be the only legendary in the cube, and that's because he was lowered to uncommon in Masters 25, or... I mean... twenty. What, a 25th anniversary? Look so. how swole he is, though. He is fucking shredded, bro. <laughs> His muscles are so are so are so tight that it looks like they're gonna rip. Like his skin, I mean. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at this. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this here, you're like, oh shit, that's you're gonna tear that dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's not. Also, look how tiny his hand is. He's got like a Donald Trump hand, compared to like look how small his hand is compared to like his. No, arm. I think that's just a proportion of his arm, though. I don't think he actually has I small guess. hands. But I get what you're saying. Okay. Who is more swole, him or Rob? Oh, him for no sure. No one's swoller than Rob. Oh, wow. His name is swole. 2-2 two, two for 3, gets plus 1, plus 1, eternalize, we get a 4-4, four, four, plus 1, plus 1, and it's a 3-1. What does mirror image do? It becomes a copy of something in your upkeep? You may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature you control. It's decent. He's just Penumbra Sprider. Yeah. Meh. Meh. Meh, say. I want a man with a drum hand. No one wants that. Kenji commented today that he has played him at like eight times and not once has the other player placed something down. Yeah, that makes sense. 
played what? Oh yeah, yeah. Because there's there aren't any. Like there's, there's aren't any. I mean, I'm sure there's probably like maybe one or two more. But how have you done eight drafts already? Where you've had Iwamori alone? Like, <laughs> eyes everywhere. Travel prep is so good if you can if you can flash it back. I don't know, man. I don't know, Dad. I like travel prep a lot. I wonder if that comes back. What up, Walladil? Can we ever draft and not be in three colors? Is it possible? No. Look, we could be Bant. Katie loves some Bant. <clears throat> I want to have one blue card with currently, the technically. Slow Thunderstaff is fine. Are you and Rob going to do M20 and Server V1s? It's all been officially spoiled. Yes. I mean, I can't. I can't see a reason why we would not. What's the reason for the season? I don't know. I don't know, Dad. Well, I wish you would, son. I've got a fever of Michael B. What? You got a fever of Michael B? Yeah. Oh, boy. You don't like that? If his kids aren't spending all his internet bandwidth, that's true. I just came back to the next question I asked Mike to Frank. What cereal produces the best cereal milk? Thanks. I don't really drink cereal milk, to be honest with you. Cereal and milk. Cereal and milk. I do like Bear's Companion. It actually triggers our What do you mean you don't drink cereal? I don't drink cereal milk. What? That's like the best part, man. No, it's too much milk. Uh, let's go Teamer. Teamer Beamer? Also, that card's real good. Also, the answer is obviously Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Wow. And if you say otherwise, well, then you're just wrong. Wow. Beastie Boys. I really like Mrs. Judgment. It's very, very good. Does it like you back? Fucking shut the... F <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that? Michael, no one likes that. Oh, I like a Trigon Predator. Does it like you back? I wasn't going to do it, but... Does it like you back? Okay, I might have... Does it do like it. you back? Okay, really? Shut up. Oh, Vital Splicer's good. It's not a four what drop. Do? Oh, it makes it three. Makes it yeah. three, three with All those do that, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Spring Blue, Broom, Blue Madrid's fine. It does get a white source or a red source if we want it. I want a man. That guy makes eggs. Slow. No, wait. Wrong dragon. <laughs> he makes eggs. Okay, you like making eggs, kids? Uh... What? What? Oh, dear. Man, what should I get on my little C's? Peppers and onions. That actually sounds pretty good. I know. I thought that, too. I was like, oh, that sounds all right. Nice and crisp. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Hey, buddy, you like Ashiok? I might get mushrooms and onions. You gotta get peppers, too, man. Get all three. Hey, That's too much. Too expensive. You like Ashiok? If you come over here in this alley, I got plenty of Ashiok for you. <laughs> Thinking oh, about getting it delivered? Three nickels. Three schnickels? It's like eight extra dollars I know. to get delivered. I, I did it the other day, and I felt terrible about it. Yeah, the same, but I just, like, I don't really want to go get it. I know. Because we're like drafting, and then we're going to watch shows, and then it's just like a whole to-do. Oh, yeah. Scaled Behemoth? Actually, I guess driving there and grabbing it out of the box. It's real quick. Yeah, it's probably fine. Grabbing it out of the box out of the pizza portal? Yeah, the pizza portal, bro. It's, cordial, it's, cor it's called a pizza portal, Michael. Should I get crazy bread? I love olives on my pizza, guys. How much are cheese sticks there? Cheese sticks? Like the yeah. cheese bread? Yeah. Like five bucks? 
It's that the much same more. price as crazy bread and sauce. Yeah, but then you got to get sauce too. Right. So then it's like six, like five. It's so like it's basically six. two extra dollars because you're always going to get sauce. Yeah. Right? That's not terrible. How was it? It's good. Okay. It was garlicky and cheesy and delicious. Mm. Papa like. Pepperoni and olives? Gross. Not because of the pepperonis. You don't like olives? I don't like all Like olives and pepperonis don't really match. This dude got fucking pineapple on his pizza the other day. I how are you going to... How are you going to... Oh, control magic seems ba, ba banging. Also, when I get pepperonis <laughs> ba, and ba, olives, banging. I like to have like... That's when I want all the stuff. Like I want the supreme. Like I want all the, the veggies. Shut up. You mean the cheese bread? That is what he means, yeah. Cheese sticks, cheese bread. I want a cheese with a slow hand. Oh, I like it. Is it I want a cheese with a slow hand. I want a cheese with an easy touch. Interesting. I just want Signet here. Interesting. Yeah, I want Signet. Black olives, banana peppers, and bacon is my go-to pizza. Well, that sounds fucking wild, dude. It does sound pretty wild. I don't even I, want to know. I what do you're like banana subway, peppers buddy. on pizza. Maybe I'll get banana peppers. Do they have those? I don't know if they do. I don't think Little C's has banana peppers. My face, though. What happened? Fucking <laughs> shut the f- <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Bridge Hill, Tuscan. You like that? Michael, no one likes. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> shut the. F- <laughs> I don't know what my face was there though. I want I like sausage and mushroom. I dude, sausage is my favorite topping. Before I stopped eating like meat, my problem with sausage on pizza is that it's very overpowering. Like I feel like all I taste is the sausage. God. Also known as sushi. What sushi? Sushi. 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 This is the salami for your mommy. From here. Salami simulacrum. He's got the salami for your mommy. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Michael, Michael. Little Caesar's Pizza, please buy me. You will enjoy putting me in your mouth. <laughs> You're right. I got Palaka Worm. I think it's Palaka Worm here. We're not necessarily red yet. Hunt. Wait, there are balancing rules for pizza? I think so. I agree. With, oh, actually, is it Mana War or is it Untamed Kavu? I think it's Mana War. I think Mana War is just better. The other guy does trigger Tempo PR. seems stronger than a couple extra points of power. A couple extra points of... I love pineapple on super meaty... Oh, God, what's wrong with you guys? It cuts... The sweetness cuts the flavors of the others, you know? What? Why? Why is that a thing? I don't. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's that's the goodest land oh. that they're ever goodest. These are this is a card's also real good. You can't pass the try land, bruh. I agree with it's you. It's too good for you. I want a land with a try. Frontier bivouac. Probably isn't apples on pizza. No. Mm. You guys have gone too far. Apples is probably too far. On uh, a dessert pizza, sure, but that's a whole different ball game. I hope that rugged green land comes back. A rugged green land coming back to town. My daddy was a rugged green land. Your daddy was a little bitch. Wow. This is where you're like, it's about rog. It's true. I'm gonna, I don't care about experiment one. I'll take old and old mysteries. Your daddy was a little bitch. Peanut butter on school lunch cheese pizza. No, no. Oh. Happy birthday. Oh, man. Michael birthday. Happy Michael birthday. Michael birthday. Oh, actually, a braid's probably real good here. I'll take an umbra day. Oh, bing, coiling bing, oracle. Bing, bong, bong, bing, 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 bong, so bong. bing, 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 bong, bing, 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 bong. What? I'm singing the bing, bong song. Remember that time Little Caesars was like, hey, put me in your mouth. What? Little Caesars, they were like, hey, put me in your mouth. You remember this? No. It literally just happened. What? Oh, it was like a donation? What? I read it out loud. We both laughed at it. God, I have amnesia. What's wrong with you, man? The amnesia, Frank. Oh, 
what point is he just too far gone? Mike needs to be taken to the doctor. Oh, man. That land didn't come back. And it never will. Well, that's correct. We're on a different pack now. I actually like Domri's Ambush. That seems real good. I want to be with the bees to touch. Oh, Frexine and Jester. Maybe. Could be Branch Walker, too. Mutual has the pastrami for your mommy, the meat patty for your daddy, and the weasel for your beehole. <laughs> I don't think we're a deck that's going to sit back and have four mana every turn to draw cards with Azure Mage. Yeah, it was one of those things where it was like a two drop with a really, really high upside. I'm going to say Gruel Turf, though. <laughs> hooting Mandrels. They are hooting. Da -da 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 -da. Hooting Mandrels. I like Electronic Outrage, but I don't want double red here, so I'm just going to take the Mandrills. It also triggers your Cura, so it's not the yeah. worst. I like that. Oh, Simic Growth Chamber? That's fucking gas to go with our Gruel Turf. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, yes. Now we can get away with playing. 16 extra. land deck. Moochal, Moochal. He's a Moochal. More like he lives gross. in trash cans. He lives in trash cans under the sea. He be wow. That was good. I was like, where's he gonna go with this? <clears throat> we got Finksy. Oh, we got Terrain. Wh what? what? Did we literally just went over how terrible this card is. Oh, I thought that was a different card. <laughs> I thought that was that card that where you like, draw a bunch of cards and you can play them until the next turn. No, you're thinking of... Like Exiles, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know the one. That's probably a rare, though. <laughs> it's horrible. Take it. Well, that card is decent in Commander because it deals so much damage. Anyone want a mayonnaise, banana, and hamburger helper sandwich? <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> take him to the doctor. He has a head injury. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say Kitchen Finks here. I don't want to lose any Bay Days. I like Burn Away. What about Mystic? No, we might not be consistent. Well, we're going to be really heavy green. I think it's Mystic seems good here. Maybe. Maybe. Definitely. Also, we're playing like a an 8-drop. Or seven drop? You don't even know what we're playing. Who knows? He's drunk as hell. We make some. How about cuts? some ketchup and ice cream soup? Oh boy. Disgusting. I like Roshin Meander. That's just a decent four drop. Take out Penumbra Spider for now. Eh, so many good flyers. Whatever, it's fine. Let me board in. Ooh, Rex Edge seems like a great sideboard card. So there's also a Jang Jang Jangu. Uh huh. There sure is. Why oh, do you like this? My name is Michael B. My favorite shake was eggnog, peanut butter, banana. The people would always look at me funny as they made it. I mean, that doesn't actually sound terrible. That sounds great, actually. Mm. Mustard and peanut butter pancakes. Oh. <sighs> Y'all need to be timed out. Y'all need j j j j j Jesus. Cuckoo, 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 Christ. <laughs> wow. Cuckoo, cuckoo, Christ. I like an Arborback Stomper. Oh, I'm an Arborback, 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 Arborback. Frank, do you like Planeswalkers? Frank, do you like taking turns? It's a Counterspell deck. I do think it's a... Ooh, no Counterspell? It's double blue. Like, I feel like we're not in a double blue Yeah, shirt. but like, it's not... It doesn't have to be put on turn two, right? Like, it's a sure. great late game card. Oh, wow, we got all the... We also have Trigon Predator too. Like, we have Trigon Thrashing Brawn and Wicker Mystic Bilder. also cost double blue. And Rex Sage. Sure, maybe I'll cut that guy too. No, don't. I don't think we're playing like I think we're tapping out every turn. I don't think we're holding oh, that's fair, four actually. mana counter spells. I could see that. So we need one more cut? Yeah. Something that doesn't synergize with our Cura. 
kitchen fangs. There's also 19 creatures, so cutting a creature seems actually fun. Yeah. Why play Roshin? Because it's a 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. Triggers are. Plus, that's like generally pretty good stats. In this yeah, format. I mean, it's... Well, I mean, there's no reason not to. Yeah, I could see cutting Finks springing in. I mean, if you're only if you're only playing this when you have an X spell, like you're probably never playing it. Nah, that guy's good. Really though, we only have sixteen lands. What does that matter? Know. I mean, it just gives you an extra land. It's just a ramp spell, but with the body. Just a ramp spell of the body. Untamed Kava is a 2-2 with Vigilance and Trample if you kick it for 3, so 5 mana it's a 5-5 five, five with Vigilance and Trample. Which is good, because it triggers off of Kiora. I'm going to take the Druid out. I don't think it's that good. Have you played with it before? Yeah, but I mean like... Do you it, like Harrow? Uh, not a, it's, my point is that we only have 16 lands. So like, if we're matter? searching for 2 lands out of our deck and getting rid of 1 of our lands, uh, the amount of lands we're going to draw is significantly lower. Right, but that's that's true of any ramp spell. No, because those only take one land out of your deck. This is taking two lands out of your deck and killing one of your lands. I think you're wrong, dude. I think that card's great. It's also three mana, so it ramps us to five? Like, I don't know if that's... Alright, whatever. I don't necessarily agree with it, but... Give it a shot, mate. I just said I would. Yeah, it's a vanilla four four, but it also it it counter it it works well with Kiora. It goes well with Domri's ambush since it's big. I mean, I think it's actually just fine. I don't know why we're. I mean, Hooting Mandrel is also just a four four. With, it's got trample. Yeah, but I think Hooting Mandrel is actually worse because it costs more. No, maybe not. They're probably even. Wow, that's a lot of green. Yeah, we're super green. I'm gonna say one, two. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, three, four, five. Civic signets is six, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, you might worth. I mean, I know control magic is great. Oh, we got another double though. Yeah. I have no idea what any of the things you just said were. I was thinking about if we could cut the double blue cards. I mean, it's the only double blue card. I mean, but it's good. Like, I think it's good enough to keep. Okay. Hooting Michaels. Do -do 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 Elvish Mystic and a forest. So close. Nachos topped with candy corn, bacon, and prunes. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to time Smokey Loki out in a minute. <laughs> He's just gone too far. He's like that scientist. Roshin is also a card with text that scares people even if it's not good. And that's true. Okay, we're going to have to hit some lands here in a minute. Because otherwise we got 6 drop, 6 drop, 6 drop, 4 drop. Say it again. Why? I don't know. Okay. Weirdo. Nope, double blue card. Sounds fucking good. Magic is a shame. Like I just want to, I just want to play magic. I just want to play lands and be able to cast my spells. Cool. <laughs> Good yeah, I'm into times. that too, man. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Let's go to game two. I mean, it's just like, I don't want to concede here, but seriously, like, I don't foresee us coming back from this because. Yeah, I mean, it's a little rough. This is a shitbird game. It's not wrong. <clears throat> Where's the lie? There is none. I need to get my juice maker. Your juice maker? Yeah, my charger. Wow. Cool. We're going to end up casting Hooting Mandrel simply because we discarded enough cards to do so. <laughs> Oof. Yep. <laughs> Never fails. Here we go. Turn six. We've hit two lands. Good times. Wow. Well, they're playing a turn six Frenzied Goblin, so... So I guess they're floated. I mean, I guess we hoot, right? If 
Fuck yeah, we hoot. Fuck yeah, we hoot. I mean, it means their hand is full of removal, so. I'm gonna go get my juicy maker. You gotta go all the way upstairs for that? Unfortunately, yeah. God, Unless you have a charger. Which I don't think you have my type, right? What kind is it? It's a micro. Oh. Huh. I'll be damned. Thanks, bud. Oh, look, they had a hooting man. They had a. They did have a removal spell. Do 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 do. do. Oh, that's all the only. Clearly, all they really have. <clears throat> Roshin, 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 Roshin. It's like Jolene, you know the. You know what that is. Shut up. Oh. Okay. So there are other four cards that I just removal. Got it. <laughs> nope, one was the land. <coughs> oh, good. Oh, boy. Why would you get that instead of the Hooting Mandrels, which has Trample? Maybe they got an X-Fell there to kill us for the next turn. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, oh, you're just going to, like, burn my face next turn, I guess. By guess. Oh, why can't this be a 4-5? I guess it's four, five, six, seven, eight. Why not a five, five? This is what four, eight, twelve mana for an X spell. Just wait until you have your lips around a Mayo Geyser. Mmm, earthy goodness. <laughs> oh, Lord. oh, that's right. I forgot you had that. My bad. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. It's not looking good. It's not. It's really not. Okay. So we can play Scaly Boy. Yeah, I guess that's the best we can do right now. Maybe we don't die, though. Maybe we win. You know? Well, I mean, it's hard to kill. I don't want to waste any bay days. And they did use their sacrifice card, so. Both halves. Mm. I mean, I'm sure they're just going to rolling thunder us for some kind of X spell that I don't, I don't know about. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, yeah. Just that guy, huh? Well, oh, what's real scary? I'll go to five. What's real scary? Because it's got fear. I mean, I could just steal it. Oh, yeah. They're, now we're living the dream. Boop him. Well, let's see what we hit with uh, Oracles. Oracles. Well, that's going to help us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. As long as we can survive this turn. I think we're good. Yeah, well, you think that. I mean, five damage is a lot. Yeah, but they can make this guy unable to block, so we block here. So we have to deal four. All we have to do is survive this turn. Survive the turn, they have only two cards. What are they doing? Now we're dead. Cool. Now we go to one. Wait, did this actually... So they got their Shriek Maw back and it has haste now? Fucking amazing. If we played this instead... Wow. All we, had, all we had to do was survive this turn, guys. An impossible ask. Uh, <laughs> clearly, I'm asking too much. Actually ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's kind of comical because, like... <laughs> we missed, like, seven land drops, and it's like, oh, well... You know, he's got to give the opponent all they need to win. He's got two cards in hand. One of them gives them haste and lets them get back the creature you just killed. So seems good.
What shows are you guys watching right now? Handmaid's Tale. I'm not watching any shows. I'm playing Magic the Gathering on the internet. But also Handmaid's Tale. Oh, they mulligan to six? Good. Five? Yes! Excellent! I mean, when I when I miss, like, five to six land drops in a row, that's basically the same as mulliganing to, like, four, right? Similar effect, yes. You're not playing the game as intended. I'm at, I'm at a significant disadvantage because the cards in my hand are not useful. All right, we do need a blue or a green here. It's a blue or a green. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's a blue or a green. Okay, that's... You know, I'll give it to you. Oh, man. Really? I think it's blocking this guy. I don't feel yeah, like we're this... not winning the race. Right, like, I'm not gonna... Especially if they're just giving other guys haste, like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what father likes. The kitchen. Finkel. Now we really need to hit a blue. I do. I want to hit a blue. Doesn't this guy get rid of a land? Search your library for a mountain, put it on the battlefield, tap and show for your library. Oh, and then when he dies, you sack a mountain? Sure. Oh man, we're one away from that guy. That's sad. That doesn't do anything, right? They just take three. But the difference is we're not going to be able to block anyway, so. What do you mean with two island, two mountain be that egregious? What do you mean? Instead of three and three, or? <coughs> I mean, we do have a double blue card, and we want to be able to hit our cards. We want to hit their colors early. Like, I have Corling Oracle early. We have Domri's, uh, Domri's Aggression. I don't know what that card's called. <laughs> Domri's, Domri's Ambush. Domri's Pizza Place. That was racist. Was it? Yeah. How so? I mean, we also have, like, ten, ten to eleven sources of... Of, uh... Of green mana, so I really don't think we're we're short on green. Come on, it's give me like first a of Mike Karoo. B. Mike B. Mike B. Dang Mike B. It. Should have tapped differently, I guess. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Kind of hard to think of like stuff like that where you're like, oh, what if I hit my Mystic? Seems like a lot. That's just mono dog beds. Anybody else have a problem with Twitch buffering tonight? Not me. I got 36 drop frames for the entire stream. Almost seven hours. Which is pretty good. I'm not a mathematician, but that seems low. It is low. Does Shorty get low? Buddy, you know she he he do? She do? I don't know who Shorty is. Have you gotten your comments back from CGC? Oh, no. I'm not going to get them back for, like, it takes a while, six right? months. Wait, six months? Yeah, it's going to take 11 weeks to press them because there's a queue and, like, the dude just doesn't, he just doesn't just take your books and press them over the weekend. Like, uh, the, the turnaround time for pressing them is about 11 weeks. Dang. So that's about three months. Then he ships them to CGC. And the turnaround time for CGC is about... Uh... 60 business days something like that 40 to 60 business days so like no I mean between the two between getting them pressed and getting them regraded like it's gonna be a long it's time. gonna be like five to six months yeah that's crazy I mean it'll be worth it in the end but you might have posted deck list that I'm contemplating yeah definitely for sure who do you used to do the pressing oh uh, I went through a company called hero restoration Who's pretty uh, pretty reputable in the in the comic book world? Do they have your new address? Um, so like, 
Yeah, when I have him, he when he sends them to uh, to CGC, I'll definitely have them send them back with. Um... God, what books did I send? I sent like thirty two books in. Oh damn! Yeah, it was really it was a lot. That's crazy. Like Fantastic Four forty eight forty nine. Uh, 52, which is first appearance of Black Panther, first appearance of Galactus, first appearance of Silver Surfer. Um, this seems worse for them than for us. Yeah, that's weird. We get our things fed. Like, we basically we lost an bear. Oracle and a Mystic. They lost a Land, an Elvish Goblin. And a Guide. A Frenzy Goblin, an Alpine Guide, and a Fire Spout. Yeah, that seems terrible. Yeah, that seems good for us. Plus, we get the Hooting Mandrels here. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 14. Teen, which is the first appearance of the Green Goblin, Amazing Spider-Man Spider 50, which is the first appearance of Kingpin. Going for all them first appearances. Um, first appearance of High Evolutionary, which is like Thor 134 or something. First appearance of Moon Knight, which was Werewolf by Night 32. How much did the pressing improve the grading? Usually a decent amount. You just made that up. You said you give like half or a point or two, which is like worth yeah. a lot, right? Yeah, like it's usually between like 0.5 and 1.5 would probably be the 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 range. But like certain books, like if you go from like a 6.5 to a 7, like the first appearance of Black Panther I bought for like 800, but it's a 6.5. So if it, if it goes up to a 7, a 7 is like 12 to 15, 12 to 1300. So like the 0.5 grade bump could literally increase the price like for 400 bucks. Yeah, in theory, you should make more money back on the... Um... That would be the... Yeah, that's the goal. Amazing Spider-Man 69, first appearance of Mutual Salami B. <laughs> nice. As soon as you said 69, I'm like, this isn't going to be a real thing. Nope, it was not. It's the first of the mic. Wake up. Uh, first appearance of Punisher, Amazing Spider-Man 129. First appearance of Carnage, Amazing Spider-Man 361. First appearance of Venom, 360. First appearance of Hobgoblin, which is like 261, I believe. I pretty much took most of my first appearance. First appearance of Avengers number 6, which is the first appearance of uh, Baron Zemo. Avengers number 8, which is the first appearance of Kang. I pretty much took most of my first appearances and sent them off that I thought could do work. Fantastic Four number... I mean, those are the ones you want high grades, right? The first appearances, because it's yeah. generally worth the most. Um, I forgot the issue number actually, but first appearance of the Inhumans, which is a Fantastic Four issue. Yeah, I said that. I said Venom. I said ASM number three hundred. No, you said three sixty. Uh, three sixty one is the first appearance of Carnage. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm just blocking this guy for sh actually. Next turn we can Domri's ambush, kill this guy, and then play Gruel Turf. Let's do that. Just looked it up. Issue number 69 is Kingpin on the cover, so it's basically neutral. Wow. Wow. You saying I'm thick? I mean, you knew. You knew you were thick. Kingpin's the thickest dude of all time. I'm just going to hold back. Their yeah, deck is more aggressive than us, so. A fictional character. Which one has Nicolas Cage Spider-Man? What? I'm definitely blocking this guy. Like, it gives the other guys haste. Like, it's so good. Yeah, that like, seems really unvaluable. Yeah, I mean, I'll thing. for sure, like... Like that. Right. Could I like could have had haste. And got floats. We can't even block. I can't even block your floaty boy. Oof. What? I just had a poppy. You, I heard it, actually. I was like, oh, that, oh, was, that was my knee. Dang. Do you need a new knee? I think I'm good. Okay. I'll let you know, though. Well, yeah, they couldn't cast this, but, I mean, we're just making a reference that, like, giving your creatures haste. Has anyone shared that be I, I did, actually. Chris, I shared it earlier. <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. <laughs> oh, God. Brian's fantastic, man. I'm 100% blocking this guy. 
Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't. I wonder if they know they have to know this has reach, right? So next time we just go Finks, next turn after that we go this, and then turn after that we go this. Okay, so we just two for one of them again? Seems decent. Oh, wow. Is that... Can I... One, two, three, four. Oh, we can do it all. All of it? We can... We can do it all. We can do it now. Seems inappropriate, Frank. Why? It's against the terms of services. It's not... Which movie is worse, Spider-Man 3 or The Amazing Spider-Man 2? I would go Spider-Man 3. I think Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3 is like cringe. The Amazing Spider-Man was, 2 wasn't it good. It was slapstick and goofy. Yeah, which is totally out of place. Where at least Spider-Man 2, like, it's kind of, it's not great, but it's still, like, it feels watchable. Also, I think Garfield is a much stronger I Spider-Man. Really, I actually really like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. I thought he was good. Like... I mean, Spider-Man 2 wasn't great. Don't get me wrong. But I think overall, it's a better, it's a much more watchable film. Spider-Man 3 is more entertaining. I mean, maybe, but like, it's not what I look for in a not comic like, movie. It's more entertaining. Not in a good way. It's not entertaining. It's like a Tommy Wiseau it's film. Like, yeah, it's like The Room entertaining. It's like, wow, the, the Room is really entertaining. But not in any kind of good way. How does also, this Also, has anyone watched the guy? YouTube clip where they took out the music for the part where he's dancing on the streets? It's super cringe. Tavo, hope you're doing all right, buddy. Spider-Man 3 is the LaCroix of superhero movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... See, that's nice. This guy costs six to transform? Man, I'm just coming at you. Oh, wow. Let's be real. The new Venom and the new Spider-Man need to go head to head. Well, first thing, we'd probably make a good Venom movie. That'd be great if they made a good Venom movie. Sony's like, we can handle it. And you're like, no, no you, you can't. can't. <laughs> you really can't. You're going to need some help, bro. It's so weird because, like, the formula for them making money is being helped by their studio, and then they don't. It's, I mean, I guess it did profit, but, like, whatever. I'm sure it would have made a lot more money if it was actually good. I think we won this game. We won this game. Guys, if you haven't done so, definitely check out manatraders.com. They're a great source of renting magic cards from Magic the Gathering Online. If you're looking to play Pioneer, Modern, Standard, what have you, manatraders.com is a great way to do that. You get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link in the in down below and the promo code RATTRAIN, which is pretty hilarious. I stand my venom. You can, you can enjoy it, but it's a yeah, fucking shit movie. you can enjoy it, movie. but like it's... It's just not a good film. It's you actually, can still watch it it's and enjoy it. That's terrible. fine. Uh, Spider-Man movies ranked Homecoming. Okay, good. Spider-Verse, great. Spider-Man 2. It's the better one of those movies, but I still think I liked Far From Home better than that. Oh, yeah. Far From Home is definitely it's definitely way ahead of Spider-Man 2. Like, that whole... So, Into the Spider-Verse was in, amazing. I'm not scared. Of the dark. So ugh, the tracks in that movie are so good. Running, running, running. No, I'm not afraid of the fall. That's one of the few soundtracks where I'll just like just legit listen to it for a while. It doesn't have anything to do with Venom not following the source movie. No, or the source it, it has to do with like the plot makes no sense whatsoever. Plot makes no sense. Like There's as Venom, moments. they know he's Venom. He's Eddie Brock and he turns into Venom and he kills like, or not even kills, but like maims and, and wounds like 30 cops at the end of the movie. But he never gets in trouble for it, even though those cops saw who he was. They know his face. They've seen what he looks like. Plus, like, he's a dishwasher, but he can afford a a, a home in San Francisco? Like, no, probably not. And, like, there's this part where, like, the relationship, like, she just leaves him, and it's like, but why did you do that? Like, the story just makes no sense. Yeah, not to mention cringy dialogue and, like... Not really good jokes, and it had a lot of problems. I mean, the story, it's like, it's the story just doesn't make any sense. I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy it. Like, if you enjoy it, like, sure, it's an action film. There's like things you can enjoy out of it, but I don't think it's a good film. Right? Like, there's so many parts where I'm just like, why would this? Like, the characters as human beings, their decisions don't make any sense. I'm just like, wait, why would you do that? How are you able to do this? 
Scott Pilgrim is by far the best comic book movie of all time. Uh, I don't think that's true. Yeah, I don't think that's true at all. I think it's a. It's I think a, that's. I think cute. it's a good film. It's. I think it's a good film for sure. But I definitely put it up there. Though it was great. Oh, they come to play tapped. Oh, that's worse. I was gonna braid. I think that Far From Home and Homecoming were great movies, but it makes me mad that Peter is basically Iron Man's sidekick and all of Spider-Man's villains are just villains as in mad at Iron Man. Well, that's because he's, he's supposed to be like a really young Spider-Man, so he's like learning how to become a superhero. That makes sense in the universe. In the universe. I'm killing this guy right, right now. Let's play this guy. Um, I'll actually keep that. Scott Pilgrim was kind of ruined for me by people who thought Ramona Flowers was a life goal. <laughs> wow. Manic Pixie Dream Girl, though. Yeah, for real. What's your favorite moment in su uh, favorite moment from a superhero movie? Mine is Cat picking up Mjolnir in the Endgame. That's a good one. That is a good one. It gives me chills, man. Um, I think one of my favorite movie. Oh fuck! One of the moments that gets me every single time. Um, is when it's at the end of 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 Winter Soldier when Cap and Bucky are fighting, and he's like, "I'm not gonna fight you. You're my friend." And Bucky's like, "You're my mission." And Cap is like, "I'm with you till the end of the line." And I just fucking lose it, dude. And Bucky just yeah, stops it's a callback, hitting him. Right? Yeah, because yeah. that's what they—that's what they said to each other. Like right, that's what yeah, Bucky yeah. was like, "Hey, man." Yeah, that's a good one. I'm with you till the end of the line. Dude, I just lose it, man. Spider-Man taking Cap Shield and that was a good. Move. There's that's so good many one, yeah. good moments in the like one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm one mana shy of like... Oh, actually, I guess if I attack here... How did Luke Cage have the best villains but so boring? Oh, I hard disagree with that. I thought Luke Cage was fantastic. I assume you're talking about the show. <laughs> least favorite scene? That's really hard to to know because like you don't, you don't care about your least favorite scenes. How do you feel about Guardians? I think Guardians is fantastic. Very entertaining. Are they going to block that? Wild. Wild and out. I guess I should have attacked with everything. That would have let us play. Yeah, Tame. Dark World was, was rough. That was not a great, great movie. Yep, you got that. Yep, now you got Falcon Rather Aristocrat, too. Look at you. Oh, yeah, Punisher. I mean, Punisher and Daredevil are both fantastic. I think all of them are good. Like, I enjoyed, I enjoyed them all. Uh... I even didn't mind um, Iron Fist. Oh, that was probably the weakest one by far. For sure. I really want them to do Moon Knight. I love Blade 3, Fight Me. Oh, that's like the worst Blade, though. The hallway scene in Daredevil season one is one of the best. Com yeah, that's a really great scene. Apparently, that was a one take thing too. I don't get the Punisher hype. Really, Punisher was fantastic. I mean, this is like eight triggers. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, Wilskin Fisk portrayed by uh, Wilskin. Wilskin. Wilskin Fisk. Uh, Vincent. What's his name? D'Onofrio. Yeah, I mean, I think he played, like, literally a perfect kingpin. I mean, if we get to draw... If we get to draw land play Polaco Worm next turn, it's pretty good. Yeah, season two was definitely better of Iron Fist, that's for sure. Wilskin Fist. Are they just blinking? Oh, they can blink my bear tip. Fuck, that's so stupid, man. I enjoy the first and second Blade movies. They're not great to these day standards, though. Makes me sad. 
Roshin. Roshin. One, two, three, four. Let's just. Do you think Killmonger's actor could be a good new Blade? I think that uh, you mean Michael. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. I think he's a fantastic actor. I'm sure he could do well with that. Right, but you don't want to cast. Yeah, you don't want to mix your characters. Right. Like that's really bad. You don't want to have like the same guy playing two characters in the MCU. Yeah, it's awkward. Well, that's pretty good. I guess it's all right. That's pretty good, too. No, they're making a Blade movie. They're already they're already doing that. You double block one? Oh, yeah. Give me that. That's the only thing I don't like about them casting. Um, uh, what's his name? The Hannibal guy. The Hannibal guy? Yeah. Like the young Hannibal show, what's his name? He's the villain Mads in Mads Mickelson? Yeah, Mads Mickelson in in Doctor Strange One because they can't use him again. Yeah. But I mean, it is what it is. What's that noise? I don't know. What are you doing up there? Hey. Come here. Come here. Here. Come here, bud. Come here. What do you do? I don't know, but he was like sniffing around the cookie. No. You know better than that. You little biscuit. What oh, shit? <laughs> Falls fell all over my trail mix. All right. Well, every every point we have has Agony Warp at the best possible time. Human Torch like Captain America. Yeah, but that doesn't count because the movies are trash and they're they're not going to be involved in the actual MCU. Wait, what are you saying? Talking about Human Torch, Captain America thing. Well, yeah, but it's not. That's not. They're those not movies don't universe. count. Yeah, like it's don't. not the universe. <laughs> My favorite movie, Mad Mickelson played in, was Death Stranding. <laughs> Come on, man! <sighs> Fucking Christ, dude! Story of never don't have it over here. Is X Men ever going to be in the MCU movies? Who knows, man? I mean, probably. They didn't buy them back from Fox for no reason. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I mean. <laughs> They're not going to spend millions of dollars for the for the movies and Fox from Fox like just to not use them. So I don't really like Brie Larson all that much, and from what I've read, not many of the other actors like her that much. I don't know if that's true. I haven't read it. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't heard that at all. I've heard a bunch of dudes don't like her. I don't know about actors themselves. Yeah, I've heard a bunch of fucking a bunch of chads on the internet, like a bunch of no, those are those aren't chads. A bunch of incels. Yeah, those are Melvins. Uh, this is a guild mage that can either loot or gain two life. You killing my Roshi Meander or my, my Trigon Predator? Yeah, I thought Captain Marvel was great. Oh, the Trigon Predator. Got it. It certainly wasn't like the strongest film, but I thought it was totally I fine. thought it was completely enjoyable, yeah. Yeah, I was still, I was still entertained by it. Well, guess we'll do a little chump a lumpin'. I've read about the other actors, but only from shady clickbait sites with no proof. Yeah, see, that's a problem. Yeah, I don't think I. Yeah, I don't even think the characters that you're referring to, like I don't think Chris Evans or Chris Pratt or Mark Ruffalo, are going to be that or Tony Stark. Right? They're not going to. They're not going to. They're not going to talk shit about Brie Larson. Like, I just she's don't like, think that's a real thing. Yeah. Like, like that just sounds like that just sounds like shitty nonsense. Only part that bothers you when just a girl played that was fantastic. I thought that was fantastic, like just playing the Gwen, the, playing the the No Doubt song, like just was. 
Well, this. was too on the nose. Really? Yeah, but like that's the that's kind of that's the, the point. point though, right? Like it's such an obvious track that's like just perfectly fitting. Like, I mean, just because something fits so, I mean, I don't know. I think it fits perfectly. At some point, you and Mike need to do Monster Train, bro. What the hell is that? Uh, it's like a new deck building game. Oh, okay. Just game two, huh? Interesting. So the card in your hand is not worth getting rid of. I think it hurt the movie to come in so late to the, to the party where you really need to stand out to be a good original story. I mean, that's kind of like a timing thing, though. I don't think there's a way around that. Like, they needed Captain Marvel for the next film, so... Yeah, but I think it did stand out because you had Samuel L. Jackson, who was like super young in it, and it was like kind of awesome to see. Also, technology would be crazy. It was, it was, it was like it took place in like the '80s or '90s. I forgot what the time frame was. I think it was '90s. But... Like it just had all these cool aspects. I mean, it just it had Goose, which was like super cool cat character. It introduced like the scrolls as like serious. Ca this is interesting. So we take one, two, three, four, five, six. We go to five. If they want to do that. I mean, I think there was a, just a ton of, like, sweet aspects to it. I think it wasn't natural if she threw a guy into a jukebox and then it played, but it's a small complaint to a great movie. Okay. Fair enough. I think if she threw a kind of jukebox and that was the song that came on, I think that would be even worse, right? Like, that's that requires a lot of suspension of disbelief for that to happen. Whereas, like, it's just part of the soundtrack. Well, I guess you're going to... Yeah, this deck is sweet. Yeah, it actually wasn't Hugo Weaving. It was uh, actually the guy from um, the guy from Walking Dead. Surprisingly, all right. So I guess we're taking four here. I mean, oh yeah, I also didn't know it wasn't the same dude. But you don't have to compare the two. It doesn't have to be like, well, this isn't as good as Captain America Winter Soldier. Like, you don't have to compare the two. Like, it's, it's not, they're not competing. You just watch it and you're like, this movie was enjoyable. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy it. Like, you know, I mean, it's just so... They're not competing. Are we talking about suspending disbelief in a comic movie yeah that's also true like that's just gonna well, yeah of course because because i mean like that's that's a silly thing to say yes you are you are you are talking about that because comic book movies still have like laws that are ground in reality right like i mean we've established the laws we've established like this person has this power this person does this like so i mean like yeah i mean just because they're fantasy doesn't mean like you don't accept the laws of that universe that already exist. Like, that's how it works. Let me get my phone. I'm going to order that pizza. Where you at? This one? Yeah. 58? It's good enough for now. What were you at? Like, 24. And that's not a fast charger either. Right, there are degrees of belief in comic movies. Right, like I mean, I know that Captain Marvel is super powerful, and she can she can shoot things out of her out of her hands, you know, and she has like power, like she has energy blasts, stuff like that. Right, but like, if someone throws someone into a, a jukebox, like I'm gonna know that that's and, and like a, a very specific song comes on, like that's not a real thing that happens in the universe we've crafted.
I feel like comic movies are more grounded than, say, the Fast and the Furious series. I agree with that, actually. Because, like, you still have rules within the world, right? And I think the characters are probably more real. Like, more well rep. Like, I don't know, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Like, down to earth and, and natural. When my wife and I were leaving the theater after Captain Marvel, she told me I wish this movie existed when I was good. That's a fucking amazing compliment. I want to play this because I want to be able to play something next turn like Trolley Boy. Trolley Boy. I literally just finished Captain Marvel three minutes ago. How is this real life? It's not. It's a simulation. But we knew that. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Why is Hoarding Dragon on the deck? It's double red. I mean, Control Magic's double blue, but I also think it's better. Unfortunately, without being a green Signet, we can't play both. But this is three mana, so if we go Signet, we can actually play Bear's Companion next turn, which is probably better. Winter Soldier is the best MCU movie for me. It's a strong one. It's, it's definitely one of the best. It's definitely one of the best. I'd say it's probably top three. Definitely top five. Oh, but I stand and Dormammu exist in the same universe. Realistic motivations is what... Yeah, but not only that, but like... You understand why Dormammu exists. Or like how it's... Or how he, I guess. I assume, I assume Dormammu uh, identifies as male. Like how he... Um, is able to exist in the same universe as like, you know, normal characters, like I'm just gonna deliver, man. like Fuck Michael it. Keaton's Vulture, you know. Fuck it, I'm just getting delivery. It's not delivery, Michael. It's, it's DeJarno. Oh, DeJarno. Are you? Are What's the deep dish veggie? What does that give me? Peppers, onion, <laughs> First time I watched Thor Ragnarok, I had a huge crap eating grin on my face for almost the entire movie. Yeah, it's it's so good. It's so good. It's just so satisfying. Oh boy, that's rough. Rough. One two. I don't even got a delve here. It's the first of the month. There you go. There you go. Huh. Huh? It's the first of the month. Man, you know I'm getting them onions, boy. It's the first of the month. <laughs> getting onions and shrooms, boy. Onions and shrooms. What are you doing with your hand there? Just working it out, man. Okay. Well, well, they have wings? I didn't even know that. Every fucking pizza place has wings, Michael. If you believe. What do I kill with this guy? It's either Noble or s this guy. I think it's 17. I can get rid of the Noble. I think this guy's actually more important right now. Let's actually turn the. Had a hair in the same dream. Because also, if they have a oh, if they have a copy effect, it's rough. Because then they get to copy the noble, which is not great for us. But if we attack with this, they can double block with these two. But they're kind of in top deck mode. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, if we draw a green, we're going to play Ridge Tusker over even worry, so. 
Yep, taking it. Yep, taking two. So I can just go. I guess we just gotta kill the Davriel, right? Hmm, fascinating. Okay, well. We take three, four, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, we take eight now, though, which is pretty rough. I mean, the green was definitely the bottleneck this match. All so. right, 945 to 950 is when it arrives. That's, they're basically going to be closed. Oh, interesting. Oh, no, we still got a four, yeah. All right, so... Yeah, this, this... I hate is... stuff like that. We don't need any more Star Wars movies. Yeah, sure, we don't need any more. It doesn't mean I don't want more. Or they just don't hurt anybody. Like, it hurts no one for another Star Wars movie to come out. Like... They don't take away from the original. Right. Like... I just like cool lightsaber battles, yo. I want another good Star Wars movie. I had no problems with the sequels so far. Yeah, I've enjoyed every Star Wars movie I've seen so far. Like, The Last Jedi is probably my least favorite of them, but even then I thought it was I like I like right. Last Jedi. It was a very different Star Wars movie. That's why a lot of people don't like it. I mean, Coiling Oracle. Do you have a cat, Frank? Yeah, we, we got a cat. This little man. Four, six, seven... I think we're just dead. This deals two and any two creatures that trade or the last movie was dumpster fire? Disagree. I mean you're welcome to think that. I I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah, Rogue One is great. Rogue One is very, very good. I block out X Men three from my memory. I mean it wasn't a perfect film, don't get me wrong. There's definitely problems with it, but I thought it was entertaining and I don't know. I think we actually have to play this. Oh, uh, Mandalorian scene. was great. Really, really well done. Okay, that actually changes everything. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So if you kill this guy and attack for three, we can block. We go to one. Yeah, see what happens. Wow. That was really good. The fact that you didn't tap a land before... Oh, you did. Okay. So meadow in hand. Tim Meadows in hand. Oh, but then they just burned it, so that's actually really good for us. Oh, wow. Oh, we're living the dream right now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we only have two green, though, so we can't do both. Are we allowed to talk about the details of Rise of the Skywalker? I don't know. It has been a while. It's been a while since Michael B. lived in the garbage can. <laughs> I think we're just playing this guy. I don't you can also kill your own guy to gain life. How? Because of Falcon Wrath. How can I kill my own guy? Have your coin coil fight. This doesn't you? fight. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't know I couldn't do that. All right. 
So even if they, they have to kill both of my blockers. It's awkward, but they're on the play. Oh, alright. So we can actually just kill the Blood Artist. Yeah, but Hosmania, like, Star Wars has always done the thing where, like, an inconceivable giant force is taken out by one small weakness. Like, that's totally their thing. They've done it, like, in every Star Wars. Yeah, it's movie. an underdog. The, the whole Star Wars universe is, is underdogs. Wow, I can't believe we won that game. Yeah, also, like, Star Wars has never really made sense, like, any of the films. See you later, Arctic. I mean, Luke's from a fucking farm, and he's like, Oh, look at me, I found a lightsaber, and I'm gonna be the best Jedi ever. And you're like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Wickabah. You wanna talk about my Wickabah? The movie is freaking called Rise of the Skywalker, not Rise of Palpatine. Rey should have died at the end, and Kylo Ren should have been redeemed himself. What? It's called Rise of the Skywalker because she essentially a, becomes a Skywalker, in a sense. Yeah, it makes total That's, sense. Yeah, like. What? Like, her, she literally becomes a... Like, she just becomes an honorary Skywalker. Floridians in his blood. I got Floridians <laughs> in my blood. Good boy, don't you? Say what? Oh, God. I'm so disgusted by the delivery fee. It's hurt, it hurts, right? <sighs> it's, like, almost tripled. It's almost, it's almost, like, a third more expensive. Like, it's basically almost the cost of a whole pizza. Yeah, your your meal's probably like 12 bucks, and the delivery fees and everything is like 8 right? Yeah. It was like 25 because I got cheesy bread. Dude, when she became Rey, when she, like, became a Skywalker at the end of the movie, and she's, like, she she mentions her name as Rey Skywalker, like, I got chills. You know? Like, I was like, <gasps> like, I mean, I, 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 I loved it. I thought it was great. I think Star Wars movies are coming in a bit too often. I mean, sure. You don't uh, have to watch them, though, right? Is the rushing better than Wicker? I mean, like, they don't have any... I didn't. I don't remember seeing any artifacts or enchantments at all. Yeah, like, there's plenty of plot holes even so, in the originals, like... I think so. The thing is... I'm listening. I thought Solo was enjoyable. Yeah, that was fine. Star Wars is a fun universe, and more movies don't take away from the fun. Don't watch them if you don't want to, or or are a diehard original six. I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, like I don't understand. Like I don't understand this mentality that if like you make more of something, it makes that thing worse. It doesn't. Like, you can just not. But they're not the same watch actors. It. They're not the same people. Well, I guess same actors. You can pretend it doesn't exist. Right. If you could just not watch it. It's totally fine. If you make a movie and you, a thousand people don't like it and a thousand people do like it, it's still a net positive because you've added enjoyment. So it was a good movie if you don't think about it being strictly Han Solo. Wait, what do you mean by that? Like, you didn't like the My casting bad. or. Or he didn't say true to Solo or whatever? Or what do you mean? I can't pretend Fast and Furious doesn't exist. Maybe that's true. How do we go from happy comic memories to sad Star Wars regrets? Because we ended up talking about comic book films and Phil's led into Star Wars, and there you go. Phil's? Phil's. Phillips? 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 Phillips heads? Screwdrivers? Are you drunk? Yes. That's wild. Put that dude in the grave. Yardarosko. I need to hit the land. Oh, I want to go land into Kiora into Elvish Mystic. That seems wild. It felt rushed? Sure. That's fair. Land. Ha! Oh! Yeah. Watch it. You love Can you to repeat see that? Nah, no, boy. Now I think we can all agree that Michael Bay should not be allowed to touch any of our childhood properties. That's correct. I agree with that. Don't even look at them, Michael Bay. He made enough money, he could stop. He's done. He's done.
Oh. Well, that guy's getting beat up. Yep. Definitely shooting that guy. Yeah, Rogue One is fantastic. That's definitely one of the best Star Wars films. One, two, three, four, five. Dang it. So we can go Spring Bloom Druid, Sack of Land. <laughs> I mean, do we just compare everything to the Star Wars Harley special and be thankful for what we've gotten since then? Oh, true. We have a green. We're going to sack the red to get a red and a blue. I guess it doesn't matter. Untap the red. Um, do we want to put a counter on somebody? Probably on this guy. Make it a 2-2. Two -two. Could also just make it 4-3, which is actually probably better. Choose a creature you control. Choose a creature you don't control. This idiot. Also, next turn we can play Scaled Behemoth. Also, one thing I really like about the Making New Stars movie, assuming they do stuff that's new and not based on older stuff, is like they get a new world to create, and they don't have to follow any like of strict rules. Like they get, to, it's like fresh. What are you attacking? Cure for one? Yeah, it's fine. She really just for the draw cards, you know. Oof. One, two, three, four, five. Hey man, when I order Little the Caesars, there's a well done. But can I ask for burnt F? Is that a thing you can do? Yeah, I want you to be like, I don't even Make wanna, it black. I want the cheese to be unrecognizable. I mean, this card is just the way... I would love to see him in the KOTOR movies. Oh, that'd be sick. Assuming they did it well. KOTOR is one of my favorite franchises. It's so good. The storyline's great. Lock it up. Seven years ago. Working night. They call me the working Mike B. Smokey Loki, that comic was that comment was so crazy you had to put two kappas just to be sure. Interesting. Kind of beginning to think that James Cameron is becoming Michael Bay. Sure, this is a crate. I kinda of see what you mean. A Skyrim movie? It could probably be done. A what movie? A Skyrim movie. Or, like, based on the Elder Scrolls in general. Arabian Night. They call me the working, merkin wham. <laughs> I Nicely guess that's done. what I am. You think they got any legendary creatures in their hand? What do you think, Michael? I'm just going to attack with this guy first. And then we're probably just going to play Untamed Kavu for five. 5-5 five, five Vigilance Just got that update. Oh, yeah? I wish there was more Harry Potter without supporting J.K. Oh, my J. God. Rowling. Seriously? You have a fucking... Oh, that's not a counter spell. I was getting so mad. Dude, I get so tilted when people respond to my spells. I get so tilted. Yeah, J.K. Rowling is... Uh, she's done some wacky things, to say the least. I guess that's what I am. Oh, that's too bad. Crack that clue. Crack that clue. Crack that clue. Really? What a jerk. They can't attack here because they're just dead. Uh, discard Iwamori. This has trample. So you got a chump block here. Uh huh. Well, then are we still gonna sods? I don't know, Michael. I'm in the middle of game of Magic: The Gathering right Fair now. Fair enough.
I don't want to discard any more cards if I can avoid it. Gain five, draw a card. Seems good. Knives Out was basically a clue remake. Knives Out was fantastic. I'm going to untap this. <laughs> You're welcome, Shumagarn. Knives Out was great. It was good seeing Chris Evans uh, not typecast as yeah. like... Yeah, it was definitely a very different role. Call me the working man. Ryan Gosling is set to star in The Wolfman. I don't know what The Wolfman is, but I don't care because it's Ryan Gosling, so I'll watch it. So if I get rid of one of these guys, they have two blockers, they go block... Oh, they're going to tap one of these guys down. All right. Well, we can wait then. Oh, wait, there were multiple endings to Knives Out? I didn't know that. I think Watchmen HBO series was my favorite thing I've watched this year. It was yeah, really good. It was good. really good. We just actually finished it uh, like a week ago. It was really, really good. Like, it was like almost the best fan service ever made, right? It was really good. I didn't know what to expect because, like, Alan Moore doesn't really like that they're doing Watchmen stuff without no, him. Exactly, and, like, yeah. you know, it was, it referenced the originals a lot, and I was afraid they were going to change things, but, like, it was really, really good. No, I don't think they really portrayed any source material. Soul Herder. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. But you only have 2 2 2 2 1 2, and you have to, like, block a lot of these guys, so. Seems fine. Alan Moore doesn't like anything other than pretending to do black magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Alan he's Moore a weird, is he's kind a weird of, dude. He's kind of curmudgeonly, for sure. Okay. Okay. Well, that's just how we're living, I guess. And that's the end of this game. That's a yikes for me, dog. And that'll do. Wow. 2 0 again so far. Can you do the old double trophy? I'm strength? trying, man. I'm working on it. Hunter's getting mad. If you ever want to read something interesting, you should read about his black magic feud with Grant Morrison. That does sound interesting. I'm not a big Grant Morrison fan. I know that name. I, sh I know I should know who that is, right? I mean, what has he written? Obscure shit. I know it's not obscure shit. It, it's, I mean, no, it's the stuff he writes is not obscure, but like, I don't like his writing style. I know that I'm just trying to think of like some of his works because I'm blanking on it right now. Why don't you cry about it? They believe in competing black magic cults. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus. That's wild. I'll keep this hand on the play. Oh, yeah, boy. Uncanny X-Men, Doom Patrol. Grant Morrison is writing Green Lantern now, and it's horrible. If you're an island, you're not. I couldn't even finish Westworld Season 2. I just felt like it was such a deviation from Season 1 that I didn't really, like, get it. I was like, I don't really know what's going on right now. Island. Dang it, Mandrills. I haven't watched it, but I heard Season 3 somehow redeems it. It's got Aaron Paul in it, doesn't it? I believe so. Yeah, you don't know. That's why I said I believe so, Frank. Just that means I'm not sure. You just made some shit up, didn't you? Well, I remember seeing something about it on Twitter. Well, I, I don't remember... Know. We have not watched Space Force yet. 
No, I'm looking forward to Space Force. Also, a coworker of mine who's a pretty decent dude said he really liked it. So. Steve Carell has earned my... Yeah, I'll watch anything with Carell in it, pretty much. Really? Well, that's... How tricky. Well, now I get to do whatever I want, I guess. I think we're just hooting mandrels here. You can tell it's great because it's science, bitch. <laughs> Dang it, remind me later, you little biscuit. <laughs> ABG is very consistent. Or persistent. It's consistently persistent. You might say that. Duh. Gross. I know you are, but what am I? Got him. This guy's problematic. Oh, that was good, though. Hmm. So now we can go Oracle. I had use. Westward spoiled by reading a fan fiction that used it as a basis for the story. Well, I mean, if you're looking to watch Westworld, you probably shouldn't write, watch or read fanfics about it until watching it, right? What do you know? Or do you mean it was like an accident? You didn't realize it was about Westworld? Spoilers do suck, though, in general. Frank, is Spider-Man your favorite comic book character? Um, yes, I think so. It's hard to narrow it down to one, though, right? Yeah, but it's, a, I mean, like, it always comes back to Spider-Man for me. It's a good one. Didn't know you were there. What, you did a little ope? Yeah. You know I love a good ope. Man, Michael's Midwest is showing. <laughs> oh! Oh god, this guy's gonna be bonkers, right? I thought it was the silver dude that flies with the surfboard. I mean, I do love Silver Surfer for sure. Do they have the counter spell is the question. Do you? N no. It's too bad. I agree. <laughs> God, please don't have it. Please, I'm begging you. Hey, Frank, have you ever read anything by Warren Ellis? Yes, I've read tons of things. Warren Ellis is fantastic. Oh, my God, it resolved. Oh, wow. Creatures target player control. Oh, my God. I'm having a moment. And this guy gets to pump. Oh, wow. That was, that was a fucking blowout and a half, my dude. And this guy's a 4-5 reacher. And my pizza's almost here. Wow, everything's coming up Millhouse. Oh my god, them not having a counter spell when they have two blue up is pretty bonkers. I hope they forget this guy has reach and tries to attack with the sprite. Which comic runs show the surfer's personality? I've never saw much of it. Oh my god, you should totally read you should totally read Dan Slot's run. It's like twenty issues, fifteen to twenty issues. Uh it was Dan Slot and Michael Allred did the art. It's f so phenomenal. I remember finishing it in a hotel in Utah the first time I first or second second time I visited Utah I think, and I bawled my eyes out after reading it. That good, huh? I just I just lost it. Yeah, I don't know much about Surfer either. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, 
this game's got to be over soon, right? Antibody, I can ask that question for you. Frank does not listen to heavy metal. The metal I listen to is incredibly soft. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, who wants the counter? Counter, counter. Who's got the counter? Probably this guy. I like some metal. Depends. Attack your face. Do not care about Sahili at this juncture. This is 17 damage, so. Like, I can't listen to Grindcore anymore. Oh, they just. <laughs> they're like, eh. Oh, man. Our deck is pretty cool. Okay, chat, here's a debate for you. What was the saddest television character death ever? That's hard. That's really hard, yeah. Fry's dog? Ooh, yeah, that's a that's a rough one. And Stark, eh, it's too early, so it wasn't super. Yeah, it wasn't connected enough. But like, I'll be honest, when I when Ned Stark died, I was like, "Wait, what?" Yeah, the, <laughs> I thought it was fake. I didn't see that coming. Either, I thought yeah. it was like I thought they were like, okay, it was a fake head, or like they didn't really kill him, or like, no, dude. For that some was reason, like the I moment where you're like, it. "Oh shit, this show doesn't give a fuck." No, I first there was a part of me I was like, I don't think that's real. Hey man, Mister Poopy Butthole survived. I would nominate Red Wedding. Yeah, that one's pretty rough. Well, it's a nice day for a Red Wedding. Glenn and Walking Dead? Yeah, that one's... Yeah. The only problem about this question is it's a lot of spoilers. <laughs> it's a nice day for a Red Wedding. I hate being on the draw. Might be, have you listened to Ginger before? No. I Ginger? So. Ginger? J L N J E R? No, I don't think so. What genre is it? Just curious. Michael's a ginger. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Omar on the wire? Yeah. I'm oh, wire. fuck. Omar is so brutal, dude. Yeah, it's really brutal. Because Omar's like the hero in the show that you like, you want him to be the yeah, dude. You, yeah, for sure. Omar coming. Oh, fuck. Oh, why did you have to even remind me of Omar? That's brutal. When is Rogers got murdered by his mailman? Bro, spoilers. Oh, man. The Omar thing is so sad. Dragon Ball Z. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, nobody dies in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Was that your Krillin? Yeah. <laughs> nice. That was good. That was actually good. <laughs> oh, man. My boy from Breaking Bad? Who's your boy? Who's your boy? No one in Breaking Bad who died was actually very sad, I'll be honest with you. None of the deaths were like, oh, I can't believe this guy died. I'm so sad. There's got to be like one, right? Name it. I don't know. Exactly. I can't think of one. Yeah, because everyone who died like had to come. He's Mike Mike it. sucks, but like, I mean, Mike was in that life. Gus Fring sucks. Like the, the Oh, Hank. Yeah, but Hank Gus is, is the one Gus character. Still... Oh, Hank, sure. Hank is probably the one character in yeah. Breaking Bad where I'm like, oh, that sucks. Mike? Yeah, Mike's a great character, but again, it you know it's he's. I don't feel bad. I'm not like oh poor Mike. He still did plenty of terrible things, right? Like like that's his job, right? Like his he's the kind of guy. Opie and Sons of Anarchy was also oh, brutal, dude. Yeah, that one's rough. Fuck. Yeah, I just rewatched Sons of Anarchy like two months ago too. It was a great series. Let's see if they got it. Whether Glenn, it... yeah, Glenn was pretty rough. Who? Glenn from Walking Dead. Who? You know what I said. I gotta go with my pizza. Glenn was rough too. Man, yeah, you're right. These are all pretty rough deaths. The Zah Boys is calling. No. <laughs> no. Wow, they 
they, they bounce my grill my, my growth chamber huh well I want to play this next turn. I'd like to play it. Oh, actually, no, I want to play this. This is what I meant. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we'll just play this again. I don't love it, but it's the only second blue source we have. It's better than just playing this guy. I guess we could get the card in hand. What about Lil Wiggy? Oh, man, Mike did do a little Wiggy dirty. To be fair, Wiggy was not on TV, though. So. Oh, Michael's got his pizza. What'd you get on that, dude? It's a me, a Michael B. I've got the pizza pie. Wow. <laughs> I should sing on stream. You should sing everything on stream. I mean, I assume they have a bunch of counter spells, so I'm just gonna run things into their counter spells. Are you okay, Michael Pizza Pie? Are you sweating from getting the pizza at the I'm door? Not sweating. I'm a little out of breath, though. You just went to the door. Then I went upstairs and grabbed a plate, and I did it all quick. It's like four steps, man. Bro, look at me. It's like that Kevin James bit about him sweating from peeling an orange. Like, why are you sweating, man? Because I'm fat and out of shape? <laughs> you know, I guess there's something to that. <coughs> oh, wow, they're getting in there with this guy? That's wild. Uh, I got my Two pizza. tickets to paradise. Mine was the deep dish pizza, extra cheese, well done, mushrooms and onions. Hey, well done, Michael. And I got some cheesy bread. I'm going to take this dude. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to daze me? I'll pay. <laughs> when the moon hits your knees and you mispronounce trees, sycamore. It's pretty good. Sycamore. You might need to have some extra oxygen on hand for him. Wow. Maybe. It's four stall steps for man. Four thunder sleeps for Mike B. <laughs> These steps are so high. I can't go. Also, it's not four steps because it's up your steps, then it's up those steps, then it's the kitchen, then it's back, then it's down, down. Look at him trying to defend himself. I am going to. <laughs> it's more than that. It's a few more steps <laughs> than what you said. stream death might be coming back with pizza. Oh, I missed. Okay, okay. When Mike B hits your eye. He's, he's got pizza pie. It's a salty. Wow. Mike giving us a free layout of the place. Yeah, usually you got to charge for that. Even if it's 12 steps, I don't think that gives you an <laughs> Mike, you could go up and down a floor of stairs. You should still be fine. No house has that many steps. Well, yeah, but I, I went up. I, I was, I was like, basically running. I was, uh, you weren't running. I was running as much as I can <laughs> run. <laughs> I can't, you ain't running. Don't lie. We should go for walks again, man. We should actually. My ankle's fine now. Oh, now There's he's no reason not to really. Humble. No reason. No reason. I ain't got no reason. Hunter, stop! He just wants that goddamn pizza. Yeah, but he's being really bad, like consistently now. Down, yeah, it's it's weird. He was never like that before. Buddy, I know. Maybe it's because he's too cooped up in this room. For five. I hey mean, isn't it crazy that we're like moving all our shit in like eight days? It's wild. You got days? Am I just giving this to you for free? No. That's a pizza. Well, I can't get in there because of this stupid idiot with the grafted war gear on it. Oh, four spikes over here? Oh, that's wild. 
Hope Michael likes me as his roommate. Uh, I don't care. You seem like a pretty cool person, and I haven't lived with you before, but I have no reason to doubt you wouldn't be a good roommate. Katie, I haven't lived with you either, so... Also, like, I keep to myself pretty much, for the most part, besides, like, hanging out watching shows. Pretty low maintenance. When you're down in the sea and an eel bites your knee, that's... More. That's more. Frank, you have to like me. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not incorrect. Also, like, I feel like I've gotten to know you through our chats. Like, oh, wow. That's something right there that you just did. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you going to have a house meeting to set the rules? Yes. I don't know, being a basic adult? Don't go buck wild? Seems pretty easy. I don't know, man. I really don't like that they took my, my guy. Government took my baby. Your pet peeves are barely pet peeves, and they're so easy to avoid, it's not even a thing. Like, keep the water filled. Gonna do that anyway. I literally always refill every time I get a drink. Uh, keeping the lights off, I agree with that too. Uh, what was your other one? What was the last one? 10, I don't remember what the last 12, one was. 13. Wow, exactly. 15. How fucking wonderful. They weren't mine. They were hers. No, I, was, I know. I was just trying to remember the last one. I don't remember the third one. Lights, water. There's one more. But I remember there being totally Okay. Totally fine. Well, now we're just bringing in Rex Age. I don't remember the last one. <laughs> you don't even remember your own pet peeve? That's wild. I think we're good then. That's a moray, Michael. It is pasta fuzzle. That's oh, is your last one um, putting butter on top of the jelly? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when you make an English muffin or like toast, you put the jelly on first and then you put the butter on top. <laughs> you gotta agree on a thermotype? I think Thrashy B is just worse than Rex Sage and worse than Wicker Bioliter because both of these stay alive after killing the artifact. You gotta agree on a thermostat temp? Well, as long as they don't keep it as cold as it is down here in this room, I think I'm fine. No, you'll be freezing. I like the cold. And I don't mind the heat either too much. As long as it's not unreasonable. Seventy four, yeah, that's totally that's about what we put in Florida. That's totally reasonable. Yes, keep. Snap keep. If I can hit one land, we're golden. Pony went to six. One land, one land, one land, one land, one land, one land, one land. All I want to do is hit one land off the next three turns. One land off, one land off, one land, one land off the next three turns. Amazing. Thank you. 41, what's your question? That's not a question. That's just a number with a question mark behind it. I don't understand these people. 74 is about 10 degrees too hot. You keep it 64 in your house? That's nuts. That's freezing, dude. Yeah, like anywhere in the in the low seventies is okay, totally see, fine. Now I just want to guarantee myself that land, so I'll just hit this guy instead. We did it, boys. Jokes on me. I would have hit it anyway. No, that's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that. I yell at my children for not putting the caps on bottles in the fridge. Milk, jam, soda. Well, yeah. Milk that jam soda. <laughs> There's milk jam. 32 is freezing, idiot. Wow. 32 is, is pretty cold, yeah. I guess that's a little oh, wow. definition of freezing. Holy Jesus. This is five. Oh, we just wreck sage this and it kills their... <gasps> it's going to be a fucking bloodbath. We may have a problem if all three of us need to poop at the same time, but hopefully that's a rare occurrence. Oh, they didn't even hit... Kiora? What are the odds of three people having to go to the bathroom at the same exact time? I think it's low. <laughs> I think we're good. I think every house has that issue. Yeah, most houses don't have three bathrooms. It's not it's not very standard. So here's the question. Do I is it signet? Do I play around days? 
I don't think so. Also, man, Felipe, he used to take so much time in the bathroom, even without showers. There's so many times I had to go, and he was just, like, in there for, like, 25 minutes. This is a blowout. Oh, my God. What an absolute bloodbath. Jesus. The place I lived in college, the only entrance to my room were through other people's rooms. Oh, wow, that's terrible. That is awkward. So we got one, two, three, four, six mana right now. We're just going to play Hooters. No, Felipe would literally just play like his, 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 uh, <laughs> Norwegian metal, just like listening to it in the bathroom. Yeah. And he would like, uh, what's, what's the Nintendo console? The switch. He would just play switch in there and like, just not leave. And I'm like, Hey man, I got to take a shit, bro. But it's so it's, it, you know, didn't matter. God, yeah, I remember one time just... I had to knock because I like just couldn't hold on. I'm like, dude, you have to leave the bathroom. You have, have to get to, out, had, man. You have to go. It's too much. It would always happen right when I woke up and I had to go to the bathroom super bad, too. It was like clockwork. I have a roommate that would smoke cigarettes while I showered. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's fucking... That's weird and like kind of a that's that's like that's the like the most extreme addiction i've ever heard i can't even take a shower without smoking yeah, really. well you know what they say smoking in the boys room that's the not the shower though michael hey man do you think i should take up smoking i think you should yeah i think it'd be good for you <laughs> the last thing i need to be is a smoker man oh, i'm definitely bouncing that thing Two, three, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Oh, no, I know what you meant, Antibody. I didn't think you were smoking in the shower. I want to play around Condescend if they have that. You definitely lose weight. That's just an appetite suppressant thing. It's not from the actual Do you think cigarettes. they have either eyes? Now I don't. I was, oh, oh, wow, that's fine. I on occasion will partake of a cigar, but I'm not a... Cigar Bitch, I've known you for 10 years. I've never seen you smoke a cigar. It's because I've, I've done it like poker games and stuff, at like home games and things like that. I'll gladly trade any one of these. Also, it's just never like, it's in a situation where it comes up. Like if, if I was at it, like hanging out in a social place and someone was smoking a cigar and they offered them, I'd probably take one. Wow. Frankie the Barbalo thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. My man. You're he six, hides it from me, Dad. You have to play your four drop again? Yeah, I think you got this, man. I think we're 3 0 Guys, check out ManaTraders.com. They also have an awesome uh, ManaTraders tournament series coming up. They're doing it once a month. It's going to be a $15,000 prize payout. The payout benefits you if you are a subscriber to ManaTraders, and you can use the promo code down below. 20% off the first three months of any subscription uh, with the with the link and the code RATTRAIN. So definitely try that. Um, Okay. Okay. Uh, you can also check me out at patreon.com slash franklaport. It's a great way to support the channel. If you block here, you still take one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So you're... Yeah, I think you're still good. I mean, you have no mana. We're still good. Is the Domri's ambush here? That'd be fascinating. Oh, we, they, they, they realized it too. They're like, yeah, we... Yeah, know. they might have done the math. I'm dead. 3-0. Back to back to back. World Ooh, champs. Yeah, sure. Let me see what I drew here. A braid. A braid. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.